What's going on with all my billionaires out there? This the guy who is being there. Welcome to Who's Being There TV. Big favor, big abundance. On today's episode, we're gonna be talking about the Boston Richie snitching situation. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Um, so pretty much, I mean, I guess you guys all know the story about Boston Richie, um, with this futures artist, and pretty much that he was involved in some snitching allegations. So basically he paid 1090 jake to research his case to disprove the fact that he did not snitch 1090 jake looked into his both of his cases and found out that he actually was a witness and actually gave information in both situations now what he's trying to say now is that oh that was that's not accurate i didn't tell on anybody even to go as far as to say that you know that he trying to discredit 1090 jake but 1090 jake is pretty much saying like bro you gave information and gave statements in two separate occasions speaking on situations he said 1090 J pretty much saying that's telling bro if you giving information saying hey nope this guy came with an assault rifle came and threatened us with an assault rifle in one case then in the second case you know you pretty much saying that nope uh it was this guy this guy did this and this guy did that he said that's snitching now he pretty much saying that also in these cases that um 1090 jake is saying that now he believes that because some some youtube lawyers got involved uh bruce rivers uh the criminal lawyer and another lawyer got involved and 1090 jake feel like his team has paid both of those lawyers because that's what you do you pay lawyers to lie on your behalf that's what lawyers do you pretty much he feels that they paid these lawyers to say these things but 1090 jake somebody who's done real prison time and has evaluated paperwork before is pretty much saying like i'm not a lawyer i'm a guy who reviews paperwork and based on the street code of what we call snitching what somebody would get fucked up for in jail he's doing he's doing what we call snitching these any type of statements in your paperwork giving information to help the case in any way is what we would call snitching in the penitentiary that's what 1090 jake saying you know and there's uh allegedly been some uh interrogation video leaked and all type situation like that now how do how do i feel about this we shouldn't be surprised by it you shouldn't be surprised by any of this type of stuff like why is any of this surprising y'all like i've been saying this before you know what i mean like a lot of these guys be telling when they get in the interrogation room a lot of these guys be giving up information when they in the interrogation room you know what i mean and uh boston richie who's somebody who hey i listen to some of his music just to give him a try because i wasn't very familiar with him like that i had heard of him but i never really jammed him like that and then he got a couple songs that jam but at the end of the day you know on that on that they jam on that frequency where like if you on that type of frequency you feel what i'm saying for me i'd only listen to that type of stuff if i'm like at the gym or something like that but i gotta keep it 100 you know what i'm saying he got a couple songs yeah it's fair just like they giving gunner that same energy they giving boston richie that same energy they giving that same they gave six nine that same energy i will say that at least you know guys are being fair all the way across the board except with them other members of that ysl case for some reason they not being fair about that all them guys took pleas and told so none of them should be off the hook none of them but i guess because gunner the bigger face and he on camera doing it that makes it better i don't know but you know the same energy is being kept across the board now all of this shit like i said we need to leave the street culture out of rap in general you know what i'm saying once again i'm gonna give another shout out to one of the rappers that i like right now is ice War vezo because you know ice War vezo got good music you know what i'm saying the music is good you feel what i'm saying i fuck with his music even it's on that on that type of time but you know what i'm saying he make good music if you on that type of energy if you just need some upbeat but when you hear his interviews he is pushing a whole different type of culture in real life you feel what i'm saying and that's what i love about ice work vezo and that i feel like is the culture that is is needed right now 
and rap. That culture is needed right now in rap, man. We need to be pressing the not fuck the oh he snitching, he snitching. We slide and drop your low K. Fuck all that. We need to push the positive affirmations. You know what I'm saying? Love and positivity. Love and honor your wife. Raise your kids. Live happy. Don't be toxic. You feel what I'm saying? We need to be pushing that. We need to be t- pushing that culture. Love God. Be a be love self improvement. You know what I'm saying? That's why I fuck with Ice Word Vezo so much. Cause that nigga in real life, he really pushing that grown man culture that we need to as the entire culture need to push. You feel what I'm saying? So, you know, regardless of if Buddy snitching or not with shit, from me looking at the 1090 Jake videos and him putting out the paperwork, if that paperwork real, then yeah, he told. He was a witness in two different cases and he gave statements that incriminated the the the, 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 the defendant in both situations. So, yeah, but at the end of the day, bro, like, who care about that shit, bro? Like, we really need to be on a whole different mindset, like, for real, for real, if you just want me to be 100% honest. But, y'all, let me know what y'all think in the comments, man. This the God who is being our big favor, big abundance. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, like, share, subscribe. This the God who is being our big favor, big abundance. I'm gone.